hello friends welcome to java swing a tutorial in this video we are going to look at transfer handler method so in this video we are going to look at the transfer handler class provided by the java swing api so we have to use this class and first we have to understand the methods defined in this class then we have to override those methods to support drag and drop between two JList. So we will also learn in what sequence the framework will make call to those methods. So uh, in this video, we will study the export overrides, import overrides, and override for the validation. So once we have idea. Uh, about all these uh, methods which is defined inside the transfer handler uh, actually we will override those method and once you know the significance of each method then uh, the implementation will be easy for us so implementation we will do from the next video but uh, uh, having a good background of these methods will be useful so your life will go easy in the next uh, four uh, videos. So these are all the videos we covered in the previous parts. First we learned about the drag and drop basics between two JList. We learned about the uh, move and copy that's uh, bound to the source then we talked about the drop targets there are four targets here next uh, we learned about the example and how the example will behave so that we talked previously then we also talked about the components involved in the example so for the drag and drop to work we also should learn the transfer handler object so transfer handler this is the object we actually extend from this so we will extend our class say abc then we will provide all the override in this abc class So this is the first uh, overridable method. This uh, get source action method tells what are all the source operation we are uh, supporting. So we know that the source actions are copy as well as uh, move. So now with this method we can say what operation we are supporting like our class ABC is supporting only move or only copy or none or even both move plus copy both so that's the use of this uh, good source action method so this method will be called first by the framework next the api will make a call to create a transferable method and this method is responsible for creating the uh, export object say for example we have two list one is source and one is destination So this will be our drop target and copy or move that occurs between these two. So in that case, create a transferable will work on this one with the source. So if user selected multiple JList items, so this JList item we need to collect or we need to prepare with those items. So uh, this method tells uh, what are all the object we want to 
copy or move to the target that means to the uh, drop destination or drop target so it will read the exports that means all the selected item will be read then so this create transferable this will read the exports that means what are all the uh, jlist item we want to uh, drop to the target so that means here we are doing the export here we will do the import so read export that means uh, uh, prepare the export content and represent it as transferable that means um, uh, we need to create an object that implements i transferable object so in our case we will use the string selection object so this is string selection object will implement the interface i transferable so first we will form a string based on the selected items then we will represent that as a uh, i transferable object by constructing a string selection so there are multiple um, objects available even you can uh, prepare a html um, the there is a object for um, html uh, selection also um, so that object derives from a transferable so in our case we are not dealing with any html here we are simply dealing with the uh, strings that is uh, participating in the source and destination jlist so finally we have to return this uh, uh, string selection so next we have to override this uh, can import method and this can import method will tell whether whatever transferable which we prepared uh, the transferable object is containing the valid data and we can actually perform the import so here by placing the selection before the drag and drop we will make a selection right then we will using the mouse drag and drop it to the destination so transferable object represents the data that needs to be exported so once the data is available in the transition that means in the transferable object before importing it we can make a check that the data is valid for the import remember here in this example we have both uh, the components as a jlist sometime here you can use a jtext area and the target you can use uh, as a jlist so in that case you this can import will come handy to know that uh, uh, data is in the imported format or it's in the format that is recognizable by the um, uh, target jlist all right um, so this can import will return either true or false and you know the consequences of it if it is true means um, import can be performed false means the drop operation will be cancelled user will be seeing uh, the transfer just doesn't complete or the drag and drop will fail when it returns false so if you see here this import data override will actually perform the import option so for example here we read everything in the transferable object or the data in transition is there in the transferable object so here we will get so here we will get a transfer support object and from this is transfer support we can get the transferable once a transferable is in hand we can read the data and after that we can update the target so these two together is called importing this stuff
So finally, what happens? The drop location will have all the data imported. That means a drag and drop is uh, succeeded. So the framework will call this method export done. So export done in the sense you can uh, consider this as a whole operation is completed. That means a drag and drop operation is completed. Export done in the sense there are some object and that got exported. Exported in the sense it got perfectly imported by the drop target. So that's all. Here we can do final cleanup or if we have any pending task on SRC that also we can do after the export is done. So if you see here, first we will override a class, say the JList transfer handler which extends from transfer handler. After that, we will override the method one by one. So first we will override, uh, you can override in any order, get source action and we know the meaning of it. Then we will create the transferable. This is nothing but the export. After that, we will say whether we can import. This is kind of a validation. Finally, we perform import. So these are all the key method and once export is done we will do the cleanup action and we will override all this method and if you see the API will call this method in the same sequence so first it will uh, call the get source after get source it will make a call to create a transferable then after create transferable it will make a call to import and this will be called uh, one to many times. So we don't know how many time it will call, but uh, this n will be during the drag operation. So when you are making a drag, it will check uh, whether I can import the data. So once you start dragging, the time itself a transferable will be ready from a source. But when you are dragging, it will keep on checking that uh, uh, the import action uh, is, can, su can succeed. So we will write in such a way uh, whether import is uh, true or false. By returning true or false we will tell whether import is a success or not. So after calling multiple time and once it knows that import is ready. So that means once you drop it here then the call will resume from here and it will check by this time it knows that the data is valid or not once you release your mouse so that time it will make a call to import data and you can see the sequence it will be called in the same sequence uh, import data and once the import is done once you copy everything here it will make a call to export done so that's the sequence here this will be once you after selection once you start moving your mouse the time itself a get source action create transferable will be done and here let's say so instead of move we can say drag so during the drag this will be called the multiple time and here we actually performed the drop so import data will called and once import is done uh, export done will be called so that's all we have to know about this transfer handler from the next video onwards, we will start implementing the uh, drag and drop between JList. So once this transfer handler is uh, uh, created, we will attach this uh, transfer handler to our uh, uh, JList. We will attach it for both the source and the destination and then these two lists will make use of this uh, transfer handler. This way we can use this implementation for both. That means you can drag and drop from source to destination or even from destination to source. So uh, it will be bi-directional. Once you set this transfer handler for both uh, source and destination. So here also no demo.
uh, we are going to start our implementation from next video onwards there you will see the eclipse demo and we will implement it stage by stage that's all here thank you for watching bye